Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here, working through IXL's 8th grade math skills, section P, specifically translations on a coordinate plane today. Let's do a few examples. Uh, graph the image of point U at negative 3, negative 8 after a translation 7 units left. So there's a couple ways we could think about this one. Um, the first way would be well, let's do this. Let's use a ray here. Seven units left. So from right here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units left to right there. So that would be our new point right there. And it ends up being at negative 10, uh, negative 8. Another way to think about this is and when it says seven units left, um, that's like subtracting seven from your x value. So the new image would be negative three minus seven is negative 10. So negative 10, negative eight ends up being the point. So you can look at it visually or math mathematically. The math behind translations is addition and subtraction. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, we're going to graph this image, 3, negative 3, after a translation, 4 units left and 5 units down. So 4 left, the 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be our new point. I'll do it in red. And its coordinates are negative 1, negative 8. And again, if you're looking at the mathematic behind it, 4 units left means subtract 4 from your x value. And 5 units down means subtract 5 from your y value. x controls right and left, y controls up or down. So the new point, 3 minus 4 would be negative 1. And negative 3 minus 5 would be negative 8. And that's where it ends up. Now we're doing uh, 3 units down. Okay. So we got, a, we got an entire shape here, a triangle. But maybe what we focus on, this triangle has an infinite number of points, but it probably makes most sense to just focus on the vertices and move them each three units down. So each one of those green rays right there is um, the same length and moving in the exact same direction. They're all three units long and they're all moving straight down. So there would be our new F, there would be new D right there, and there would be new E right there. So when we graph it, we would end up with this brand new shape. Notice it's the exact size and shape, and it's pointing the same direction. So that's it, three units down. This time we're going to go uh, four units right and ten units up. Okay, so let's focus on right first. So four units right. And we're going to move every point, one, two, three, four, units to the right. So I'm just concentrating on the vertices here. Then we'll talk about 10 units up. Okay, this is where the math kind of helps too. Um, actually, the addition. So we're currently at um, negative 4. If we add 10 to negative 4, we'd be at positive 6. And this one is U and T are at negative 6, so if we add 10 to that, it would be at positive 4. This is going to be a little tougher to see there. All right, so let's uh, graph these points. We got one right there, 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 and there. Connect those points using some lines, and we're, we're going to see the exact same shape 
just moved right and uh, up. So there's that same quadrilateral. One more. This time we're going to go five left and nine up. Okay. So let's concentrate on left first. Five units left. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and we're at nine. That should end up at four when we subtract five. And then we're gonna go nine units up. Nine units up. So I'm at one, that's gonna leave me at 10. I'm at negative one, negative one plus nine is positive eight, and zero plus nine is nine. Plot those three points that are the vertices of our triangle. Oops, messed this one up, didn't I? I want to take this shape over there. I knew my triangle was going to be too long. It should maintain the same uh, size. And then the last thing I'm going to show before I let you guys go, there's our shape. Um, I'm going to draw some red arrows here to show you know going left and then up is the same it's just going diagonally in this direction and the reason I show this is because each one of these red rays is exactly the same length and the same excuse me let's lock that in place so it doesn't move Sorry. All right, so each one of these rays is the exact same length and the same uh, direction. They're all parallel to each other and the exact same length. All right, so that should get you going on translations, graph, and image. You'll do fine.